Hey, a big thank you to Shay's channel, Metagodian Mick, Ian Shelmington, Corrupt at Mike SL, Blameboard 2, and Silicide Bing for clicking the join button and contributing to the channel financially. If you do enjoy the content, always consider dropping the like button, subscribing, and ringing that bell to help support the content even further. Enjoy the show, my friends. Hey there, welcome back to Underman I'm so of Let's Stuff Together back with Bregman. I hope you're all doing well. Now, with 1.2 coming out with Undermine, we pat the dog. For it is a thing you must do with Shadow like that. Oh, I bet he does. However, today we're going to explore the point system in Undermine with this lady, Ho Whip. Hello, person. My name is. Yeah, we, we've already talked. You know, we've already talked. Let's, let's get into it. We've got important things to discuss. So we're gonna do a nice little casual regular run. Shit. We're cursed. Okay, we can see things anyway that we've been given. So this whip in particular, you start with times ten. Uh, saying that because I'm in a floor, I think it'll restart. Right. So you get given various things at the start of your run, right? We get uh, two hexes. I'm not sure if it's always two hexes, but you definitely get given good things and bad things. We start with five blessing strength, so we've got a lot of damage and some increased swing damage on the demon ring. Reduce throw damage and increase swing damage with the massa. Indestructible with those two relics. Very nice. Can't get rid of them. Altars are reversed. I have not seen blasphemy before. Altars are reversed. I'm not even sure what that means, but hopefully we'll find out, right? All healing is reduced to one with frostbite. Oh, dearie me. So if we get... You know, a lot of minor healing. And we don't have throw damage. We basically lost all our throw damage. Um, yeah, 30 to 119 swing damage. What? We're at zero summoning stones, so it's going to be a nice casual run through. Right, the first thing to notice, if you watch my cursor here, you've got this up the top bar. So you've got your overall times, of course. We'll jump now, we'll get started. So you've got your overall times as the big number on the left of that box. Now when you go down into, oh, okay. When you go down into a fresh room, damn, Bonnie, you start with times 10 on the time multiplier. You both have time multiplier and curse multiplier. Oh, what? Oh, oh, we missed it. Although we do have bomb. So it does behoove you to move your feet a little bit, shuffle around very quickly. Ah. Oh. Doggo! Pet the doggo! Banjo! Ah, oh, banjo like that. He's banging some tunes out, that guy. So, on the blue little circle, again, times multiplier, that'll go down per room. You know, it'll go down to zero if you're not quick enough in a series of floors. Well, this series of rooms, sorry, in this floor itself. So you got times 10 automatically at the very least. Whoa. Ah. Ah, lose more gold on death. Decrease throw speed. So this is important as well. We move on to the next one. So you start at times 10. I think the time will stop here, although I'm not 100% sure, right? So we can explain. The times 10, it'll go down to times 9, 8, 7, you know, just down. It might actually go down faster. I can't fully remember. Um, regardless, it's kind of unimportant. Speed is key, you know? You've got to get some speed on. But the next one, the little purple skull, is your curse. So you can choose to gain curse at a rapid rate in this game. So you've got two choices. Or a combination of two choices or two kind of ways of playing that is going to get you points. You've got to kill things to get points. Enemies give you points. Unfortunately, you can't grind ads. You know, you can't just find an enemy that makes more enemies and grind them indefinitely, unfortunately. <laughs> it's it's a good thing, trust. Um, we'll take decreased throw speed because we don't really need it. But this minor curse will get me on the purple. You can see it's 2.25 times already. That's because I've already got five minor curse. And because each minor curse gives me 0.25, and it stacks even on individual minor curses. If we take another one, it should be 0.25. Yep. We'll take this major curse. I don't have any bombs. I ruined all the bombs. Oh, no. Because that's a major curse, which will give me 0.5 on the times. There's a bomb. So we go get it. We go spin around. And we go get it. 
So that should give me 0 0.5. More keys, more bombs. And we get dangerous pilfers. So there's a lot of major curses, uh, bespoke curses that really mess with the game. Minor curses will just normally mess with your kind of character and do give you less damage, that kind of thing. But major curses are where the real trouble starts. So apparently those little rats aren't considered ads. Now here's the thing, right? You're not always in a boss fighting floor. So you get more points. Oh, dear me. You get more points. We'll go with heavy damage, you know? That's important. Because we want to kill things quicker so we can move forward quicker, right? HP, uh, you can survive anyway, you know? All you need is one HP, as they say. We get a relic, which doesn't add anything to anything. Intensifier, I can get more damage. But we're not really talking about relics here today. We'll talk about any aspects that pop up during the run when it concerns. So we're at times eight, you know? Will it go back to times 10 or will it go down? No. So it's the series of flaws you have to deal with just so we can prove it to everybody, you know? So even if you start the like series of flaws, you've got to get to the boss fight as soon as possible because boss fights give you more. Give you more points than regular enemies. And if you're working on multiplier during the course of a series of flaws and you're hauling ass, that's where the true points lie. Especially as you get closer and closer to the end. Ah. But my throw will do damage. I mean, it'll do all right. It'll do something. And of course, we want relics. Fine. I'm not really going to be throwing much, but I'll take it anyway. Sometimes I release a spray of daggers when you throw. So we're not looking to get major points here, but we will be discussing how to, you know? Obviously, you're looking at grabbing every curse you can manage, you know? Of course, if you're going to die early and a curse makes you die in a boss fight so you don't get the points and you can't continue, then you shouldn't have taken the curse. You know, you shouldn't have risked that 0 0.5, 0 0.25 times your time multiplier. Because as you can see, 7 times 3 is 21. So it makes sense, doesn't it? It's simple mathematics that you'll be able to take with you on your journeys. And pay attention to, because that's what you're paying attention to, you know? Get the curse up. Ooh, we can essentially, with the devotion, stack more curse. We can now pray twice at the altars. And because the altars are reversed, so we get curse instead... You know? Oh, I think we get a random blessing if it's reversed. It makes sense because normally you get a random curse and you get to choose your blessing, so... Hey, we get the blessing anyway. It's not just picking a curse and then getting nothing in return. So we shall see now, you know? We got six swing damage, three healing effects, and this one... Yeah, it's throw damage all the way. Yeah, and we get a blessing, which actually is useless. But we can choose our curse, which is amazing. Healing is less effective. It can't be less effective than it currently is. Swing damage. Um, lose more gold on death. Healing is less effective because we've got four healing effectiveness. So it will cancel out, but we'll get more multiplier. As you can see, it's getting up. The problem is, because I'm explaining things and stuff, I'm not really talking. I'm not really in a rush to get points. But again, when you have the choice to get a major curse, you, uh, you know, even a single point of multiplier, hey, it adds up, right? Mirror? We get to reflect shots. I'll take that. So if we can get some cleave now by accident or on purpose. Cleave blessing. A little, little dis discreet points noise in the background. Uh, we're not going to unlock. Oh, we no, we won't. It could just be a mini game where we lose everything. It could be a sh semi shop as well. You know, I could, you could trade. Bo -bo. Do a bow. Do a bow. Do a bow. So, in theory, you want to leave the rooms while collecting all the curse. You know? You want to have as many floors give you curse as possible while not going to as many floors. Sorry, I keep on meaning rooms. Oh, we didn't go in the shop, which is a big bad. However, it does save us a little bit of time to get to the boss fight. So you can get to the boss fight with no, like if you take your time, like we could go to the boss fight now and we probably should. 
it will save it will definitely be on the five times multiplier you'll be able to kill it quite quick which is important as well because if you kill the boss fast enough you can get over times 10 multiplier on your time if you um however i think it would need to be between two bosses maybe but there is a way to get your time multiplier by killing things quickly yeah, you get a plus five times bonus for killing the boss quickly, you see? It was halfway down, so if I'd spent more time... So, right, if I keep that five times bonus and it's still ticking away, I can now go into rooms. However, because it's, I'm going to clear this floor, I won't be able to get to the next boss quick enough to utilize it to have it go even quicker. Because I think that five times bonus will be put onto... The multiplier next time. You know what I mean? On the actual time multiplier. I'm not sure if it's actually been applied now, but still. Uh, yeah, we'll go for the transmutations, the keys, the bombs, and we'll have bomb duplication. So if you notice the minimap, that little room with the little lantern in it, whatever it is, is kind of useless for what we're doing here. There's no reason to go in it, it's a waste of time. And again, time is precious. Killing enemies efficiently. So if you're looking at picking items, because some of the whip, right, you're going to be really restricted in what you can do. Good shop choice, good shop. Transmute, transmogrifications and Vorpal Blade will not change that one. That is a beautiful little uh, double swing, help me kill boss quicker. Help kill enemies quicker. So it's all in the choice, and there is a lot of versatility. I think they've changed up the way generation works um, when it comes to curses because curses always used to be quite linear in how they were produced no matter where you got the curse from it was seeded you know it was all seeded in a line so when you pick a curse you get a curse that was in the line no matter where you got the curse from i think but now that's changed now you can really manipulate it so you want to get into your own kind of yeah it, the, yeah as you can hear the boss bonus and going into the time bonus so if i kill the boss quick enough we can get the time bonus up even more so we might even just rush this one oh, i'm gonna shop it up oh no we get curse bonus as well but i said it wasn't yeah i didn't oh we definitely give it a transmute definitely give it a transmute and uh... oh yeah we can't heal Shoot. yeah throw damage one yeah every heal is just one And, uh, throw damage. So we're getting 0.25 times just by doing this. And we're getting a blessing anyway. We've got cleave, which allows my throw to be a bit more thicker. But pumping it all into throw damage, because I'm not using the throw. I've got a now. Yeah, I don't really want to get hurt, though, because healing is really difficult in this whip. But understanding the strengths of the actual whip itself and the weaknesses you're going to be experiencing during the run, yeah, that's how you're going to get the best points. You've kind of obliged to go for Curse if you want the best points. You're just going to have to, especially if you want to get up that leaderboard. The people at the top, the people above you, you're trying to get above, are going to be taking more Curse than you. Or they're faster than you, you know? They're going to be taking items that promote that kind of line of work as well. Ooh. Soul Cannon. So when I swing and an enemy's in the room, you'll see what happens. It's very handy. Especially when we've got enough throw damage. So we're at times 14. And I'm probably going to rush these next few rooms. I'm probably just going to find the exit. Yeah, it's all kind of... Beautiful. We'll get the... Uh, relic. Should probably go in the shop, but the soul kind of allow me to rush through. What is this? Slows enemies' projectiles. Okay, tortoise shell. Oh, the exit's right there, so because we're on times 13 now, and I think I'll be able to get to the boss fight before, with it on times 11, just to show you if we can get to times 16. I shouldn't do that. I'm an idiot. We don't want to remove curse, you know? We really don't want to remove curse. I really need to watch myself and my health. I don't really mind dying. I just want to get all the information out of that. That's the entire point of this video. Nothing more, nothing less. Which I think we've got through most of it anyway. It's just seeing what happens in the actual run. To elaborate on certain things. But again, you've got the choice. Do you rush to the boss? 
And of course, there's good, good points in enemies, you know, in regular enemies, if you get some good curse. Mathematically, it's a bit of a conundrum. I'm not going to hear do complex equations for you all. Unfortunately, I would love to. It would be, it would be my pleasure to. Of course it would. However, I don't have the space. So we've got a new... Ah, oh, saying that. The countdown timer, I think, stops. Ah, oh, that's obviously the new curse we've got, the indestructible curse. It's throwing rocks down on the ground. Anything? Anything? Ooh, we'll take it. Temporarily reveal secret rooms. Yeah, get these one HPs then needed. Toughness serum juice. Run, my little peasant Gregman, run. Ow. Oh, he's clapping. So we're getting clapped a little bit. Yeah, if we can rush to the boss fight run. 12 times on the timer. I just want to get to the boss quick enough. Prove and show. And then you can get to time 16, because that's important. These pilfers being a little bit domineering. But I should not be ignoring the curse here. Although, should I? You know what I mean? With the timer going down, should I concentrate on the timer multiplier or the curse multiplier? Obviously, the answer is both. But trying to work in exactly how it all comes together. Boss fight at times 11. Come on, we can get this five times bonus. We might not be able to because it's actually a pretty tricky boss fight with uh, the orbs to get done quickly. Six times bonus on the boss fight. Five times bonus. Yeah, we'll do it on five times. No problem. Got it. Five times bonus. Right. Does the timer stop? Another thing. We need to science because I've been told certain things. No, the 11 timer keeps on going. However, the five times bonus remains. Doesn't run out. So you'll want to get to the exit to preserve that 11 times to add to the five times. So when you go into the few next rooms, glass cannon, I would love to. And you're gonna get devil deals as well. If you're taking a lot of curse, you're gonna get a lot of devil deals, which add to your curse and add to your overall power as well. And of course you want those big lumps of curse for the extra multiplier. So it's adding to the multiplier. Times 14, times 15, times 15. Only going to times 15. It should be at times 16, shouldn't it? So maybe it can't go, and it looks like it can't go higher than times 15. Hey, good information. Keep that in mind. You don't want to rush too rush it. Unless you'll get kind of... You can use these things as well. I'm going to die a horrible death. Yeah, you can use these wisps as well to promote your curse that's a full heal but it'll be one heal I guess oh, I will take less damage now what was that ah yeah the falling falling ceiling Throw speed, absolutely. Don't fall on me, please. Cast. Throw damage again. Hey, we got some more HP. I think. Unless we already had it. One HP. Bit of a, you know. I should have been paying attention in certain respects, but. Yeah, 420 points right there. So again, it looks like you can only get 15 times. On the time. However, the curse, I think, will be indefinitely. Oh, 10. That's a full heal. Kinda need to get to the next area right now without dying. Oh, good. But like I said, I'm not going after points. If I was, I'd be making many, many, many mistakes. 
But we'll rest. Hopefully this isn't just a one HP heal. Beautiful. So if you get one HP heals, uh, you know you can rely on 10 to do the business. Not amazing information in the grand scheme of things, considering what we're doing here today. Oh, flighty boots, wonderful. Because I want to double check this um, 15 on the time of business, because I feel like it's really important to definitely know. So I want to double check my science, you know, just for you all. But you will, it's, I get stack curse. It's what you need. Oh, but it's what you need to be doing. Even standing around, right? Remember, the curse is permanent if you don't get rid of it. While you are always going to, at the start of a new floor, have times 10, a new series of floors. You know, like Delmore, the place we're in now. Hell, that kind of thing, you know? Each series of four floors, it resets to 10. Not in each new floor. Just to be clear on it, as you've seen. Okay, I'm on the spice on the floor. But it might be worth standing around losing one times on your timer to get a permanent one times on your curse. Because they multiply together, you know? The way multiplications work, it is worth it for the longevity of the room. As you're probably well aware. So, secret, get all the curse, my friends. Get all the curse, and you're going to be swimming in it. However, again, looking for all the curse, waiting for the curse, you're going to be compromising the boss bonus a little bit, because you want to get to the boss bonus with a bit of boss bonus, because that's where all the points are. So, troubling, troubling times. Hoping we can kill this boss warrior at times 12 with a five times bonus. Not sure we could. We'll give it the old college try. Gonna have to be a quick one. All the keys all again. I'm in a rush because proof. It needs a second little try. Boss fight rush. We got very little on the times 12 left. Killing this boss quick is actually pretty tricky, but we do have good damage. Yeah, getting to the new floor as well, but you can see the last time, 11 plus 5 doesn't equal 15. The problem with this guy, he slows the entire fight down by mechanically just making himself uh, a pain in the ass to hit. Like this. Yeah, slower throw here though. Actually helps out really light the fire. Now we can do half damage, which is good enough in this situation. Oh, we're on four times bonus. But if we can escape with 12 times four. Can get out of it. Come on, 12. Get in the hole. Oh, it's on 11 times. Oh. Sorry about my failure there, my friends, but we saw it before. You can go back and watch. It was 11 times by 5, and it was stuck at 15. However, ooh, that's healing for any curse now. But again, still a nice little stroll here, explaining. Again, such a casual run. Don't get me wrong, I would normally be rude. <laughs> you know this channel? I'd be try and like a motherfucker, and... Uh, for one, you know, me doing that is gonna impact my commentary when it talks when we're talking about a ben benefiting all of your runs out there. So I figured I'd just ah I'm gonna set myself on fire for all your instant. Hey, we'll go for cursor pro speed down. So it's on five times, not point what five point two five. Don't really want to do anything. Healing effect in this. But yeah, like I was saying, taking the healing ineffectiveness when I've got healing effectiveness to bal balance it out. So I get extra curse without the pain because of the hex. Nullifying the curse, really. It, as long as I balance it. 
But again, the scoring isn't that complex in a way. However, there are going to be a lot of things along the way with the altars. Oh, yeah, we get the old double double. -er. Heals for days. Oh, we need the other one. Again, we need to heal if we want to keep on going. But think about it as well. The more curse you have, the more likely you are to be slowed down as well. So it's a real double-edged sword. What do you want to do? And when someone's, you know, say you want to get up that leaderboard, which of course, you know, you want to represent yourself and some good undermining, as we all do. And I think what the devs have done here is super clever and because when it was in early access, the scoring system was a little bit different, I do believe. But look at those shots slowed down. It was a little bit different, and I'm really glad they made the changes they have, because, well, they've actually kind of got in a perfect situation with the elements of the game, especially with certain relics. The devil deals with Shogul really coming into it, because the more curse you get, the more chance you have to get Shogul. It's simple as, so the more multiplier you get, the more chance you have to get more multiplier. However, the more chance you are to die early, you know? It's a beautiful system, and I have full respect and love for it. It's, uh... It's a cheeky little one. How dare you? Laser me in the face, you little fucks. I hope all your 1.2 activities have been glorious. We should suck in a little bit of gold. Gold explosion, okay. Lively concoction, blow everything up around me. Yeah, we're at plus 13 in caverns too. Yeah, we're gonna have to, to be fair, the, the more damage you have to put in the enemies, the slower you're gonna be, so that times 13 isn't gonna be times 13 by the boss fight. It'll be probably times 10. Although, I don't know. We'll see, because that's the one point of contention for all this. If you can't get more than times 15 on your times multiplier, it means you're probably looking to promote curse more, really. Curse and, you know, then you've got to figure out for yourself, because I'm not going to tell you, because I don't 100% know, so it would be wrong of me to tell you, whether you should skip rooms to rush to the boss in the first place, because boss gives you way more points. However, you get a steady stream of points, you know, from rooms. Yet you lose multiply. It's, uh, it's a conundrum, man. I can't tell you apart because individual whips are going to be different as well. So I have a feeling as people get used to this as well, it's going to be harder and harder for individuals to maintain the top slot. Like really difficult because of the versatility. Galoshes. I've killed myself. Putting oil on the floor is not a smart move. I don't know if you've heard this. I really don't know if you've heard this before, but it's not smart. Don't do it. Galoshes will get you killed in the long run. Fire is bad. It's not helping safety, my friends. It's not helping safety. And, uh, uh, again, time... Right. There's a few moments where you'll get some good respite. Time stops when you're here. It's n Right. When you're at the end of the boss fight, your times 10 will go down to zero. However, right, what I saw before, you know, the times, t the boss bonus you got, times five, stays where it is, that's fine. You, at the end of a floor, when you've got nothing else to do, or you're finished, you know you're going to run away. Actually, no, you might as well in the, f right, pro tip, right, when you get to the fourth floor, rush to the boss as quick as possible, then clear up the rest of the floor, because, right, if you lose multiplier while in the fourth, you're going to get less of the maximum amount of boss points, which is the most amount of points you're going to get in the floor, probably. But then, after the boss fight, clear the rest of the floor for the extra points while your multiplier still goes down, but your boss multiplier is protected. Because you've got no, you've got no other reason but to clear the rest of the fourth floor. Because it's just dead time. If you just don't clear the floor, it's three points you're missing out. So, even if you've rushed to the boss. But you should rush to the boss in the fourth floor. Pro tip of the day. You're welcome. Hey, who said this wasn't going to be a proper tip? A uh, little casual run through. 
Hey, we figured it out, you know? My mental brain powers coming alive, man. Oh, wrong time, it's 12. Oh, wrong way. I want to get that. I want to see if I can push. Oh, 69 times. I don't want it going anywhere. We have 420 points before. We're on 69 multi block. Yeah, those ads, the dolls, weren't giving me points. Ow. Come on, boss fight me. Boss fight me. Oh. Oh, again, I'm being hit. Ow. Being hit when it shouldn't be because being hit is bad. I don't know if you know this. I don't know if you've been told. At all. And a boss fight. And I've been poisoned, which is really bad because you get slowed down. Making you vulnerable. Again, being vulnerable is bad. I don't know if you've been told this at all. Again, in your life, by your teachers, by your parents. Being poisoned, man. <laughs> being slowed down, not being able to attack properly. Someone who is attacking you. It's bad times. Yeah, you want to skip if you can. You can't really skip the uh, good shit. The cutscenes or anything like that. At any time, right? You see next to the multiplier, the time in the top corner. The 21.15 at the moment. You, any time that is running, the multiplier will be going down. But I don't think we're going to get a times five multiplier. We're not strong enough. Which again is another problem. If you're rushing through the floor, you might not have the power to actually build the multiplier. You know, so... Yeah, another thing to think about. But hey, I hope all this has been nice and, you know clarifying on the nature of these runs. I hope we brought some, you know, light to the whole affair, because even though you might have figured out some stuff already, and not everyone will, and some people are just wanting to, you know, without actually learning, and know how to do this thing, you know? Yeah, it's all free information, baby. Oh, we're at times four. On a nine. On an eleven times. A quarter of a million. Quarter of a million points just like that. I'm not even trying. So imagine, my friends, if I was actually trying. Ow. With all this knowledge, with all this information. You know, I haven't taken a curse in forever. Imagine I've been taking curse. Imagine I was actually clearing rooms. Imagine. No. We got no keys. Imagine this wasn't just an instructional video on how to run whip. The whip here. Hey, thank you very much. It will go down. There's no enemies around there, and it's pointless. Because money is useless. Money's gonna slow you down, you know. <laughs> I don't know if you notice. The spending time on activities that's not giving you points is slowing you down. Maybe. Maybe he did get no. Maybe he did get told. I don't know. I can't. I can't know what happened to y'all in your own spare time. I can guess, but I can't know. Exit. Ah! I'm gonna die so hard here, my friends. It's gonna happen. The curse. Oh no! That's a classic mistake. You see, I'm making mistakes, so you don't have to collect the curse, but run as fast as you can. You see the paradox there, my friends? Hey, all good gaming requires a nice little paradox with some fun gameplay. Oh, my ball sack. So while I am going to title this video how to score big in Undermine Whippy, you know, <laughs> truly I am not following my own real advice. Or anything like that. Oh, the lava, I thought. Oh, no, I didn't have lava boots. I'm dead. And we're dead. So, yeah, I don't follow my own advice. So you can see how not to do it. But I will tell you how to do it. You see how it went down? Isn't that perfect? And we still got 69 times. So I think that's a brilliant place to end off at. And I hope you've enjoyed this video. I hope it's been very informative. And I hope you get the most out of your whip here. With the nice lady. What's that dude doing to me in the corner? He's vibrating all over me. Rude. 
Anyway, my friends, once again, thank you so much for being a part of this channel. Always consider clicking the like button, subscribing, and ringing that bell. We also stream live at twitch.tv forward slash let's suffer together. Come and check out some live entertainment. We're playing Dark Souls at the moment. We play Rogue... Whoa, Pilper! <laughs> we play roguelike games, and, you know, we do what we do. We just talk, we have fun, we shoot the shit. Great community over there, good people, you know. And I appreciate your support. We your time right here, right now. Anything else? Hey, it's up to you. You know, if you if you like what we do, hey, there's always more available, right? You know? Anyway, see you soon. Have a good one, guys. Ah. Uh, Gregor. Poor soul.